Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Drawing with Paolo. Today, I'm going to teach you how to draw a cube. And the idea behind the cube and why it's important is that everything you draw uh, begins essentially with a cube. Cars, houses, trucks, and so on. You know, even the outside deck and whatnot always has that basic form of a cube. And what is the difference between a cube and a square? Well, of course, a square is flat, and everyone knows how to draw a square. The idea now is we want to learn how to draw a cube, which has the depth to it, or the third dimension. So on my sheet of paper, as usual, I'm going to draw a cube. So let's see how we begin. Everyone knows how to draw a square, so let's begin with a square. Basic square, just like this. Notice I'm using multiple strokes here to put down my lines. Now, there's the top of my cube. What we want to do now is add diagonal lines so that we can actually make this cube look three-dimensional. So we'll pull some lines across like this, just like that. And each one of these diagonals should more or less follow the uh, angle of the last line we made. Then we're going to draw another rectangle or another square behind here. So we're going to mirror this one we did at the top down on the sides over here. One here, one there. And technically, you could see through, if you could see through this, if it was a piece of glass, for example, or made of glass, you'd be able to see that we have another rec another square, rather, another square back there, right? So now we can see it's sort of transparent. But we don't really need those lines, so we can erase them. And we're just going to redraw those lines. Okay, so this is the first step. Then we need to figure out Okay, well, which way is the light coming from? For a 3D shape to look really 3D, what you want to do is actually have a nice shadow effect to it. So you need to figure out which way the light is coming from. For our drawing today, we'll have the light coming from the top right. And so as the light's coming down from the top right, we'll be able to shade this uh, very well, I think. So let's do this. What we're going to do is we're going to take the left side here and shade that in completely here. So we're going to go all the way down, just like that. Okay, we can give some coloring along the other edge, so that we, or the other direction, so we can get a nice dark color here, dark shade. It's not a color. I always tend to do these videos in black and white because everyone has a pencil at home lying around. You don't need coloring pencils or coloring crayons for this. And then we'll do the bottom. Of it because the light is from the top the darkest side should be the bottom in my opinion so what we're going to do is color this in even darker then the left side there and it's okay if you go over the line here you know if you go over the line that's fine because we're going to be able to erase that later on we'll take our nice pencil eraser and erase that now you'll notice that as I'm coloring through here, I'm not turning my piece of paper, which I recommend you do at home. Um, I'm not doing it because of the camera. I don't want you guys to have to like, what? what's he drawing? And turn your heads and all that. So I'm just going to keep my paper uh, perpendicular to my camera and uh, or parallel, I guess. And so you guys at home can change, turn that paper around and you know go crazy with the position of that piece of paper. And there you have it. So we can even give it a little bit of a little shading here on the front face of this cube. Just like this. All right, so now what we can do is, as I said earlier, we can actually go in and clean these lines up a little bit. And so we're going to just pull this over here, clean that up, over here, clean that up. And the thing is with cubes, there aren't really any reflective areas to say, you know, like a, a sphere, you would have, you know, a nice highlight area and all that. Uh, of course, if the light was impacting the top edge, well, we could have like a sort of a gradient effect, uh, circular gradient effect, sort of like that. And then working your way darker and darker as you go to this bottom corner. Thinking that uh, probably the light is hitting over here and we can even erase this little section over here like that in a circular pattern as well to give us that nice little shaded 
uh, and lighting effect. Now, okay, so there's our, our basic cube uh, shape. Now, the thing is, this has no perspective whatsoever. I'm blocking myself with the camera. Hello! Uh, <laughs> so, if you would like to add perspective to this, the idea is you need to angle those shapes in a little bit. And I'll give you an example. So, if you were slightly looking above a cube, then you would have a flatter top. And this is what I mean by that. So, I'm going to start with a line here. So, imagine that uh, square shape again. But this time what we're going to do is we're going to actually draw that square foreshortened. And you can see that this one is a lot flatter than this one we did. We drew this one very, very uh, flat on looking. This one we had, we're at an angle. And so these lines now will be totally uh, straight, just like this. And then this one will be a little bit shorter because it's farther back there. And then we'll pull the bottom line like that. However, the shading will be more or less the same. So the idea is now if the light's coming again from the top uh, right, then what we're going to do is we're going to color in this portion like that. Color that in. All right, and then the side can be maybe a little bit lighter perhaps, just like this, right? Okay, I'll color that in a bit better here. Okay, and so that's the idea of that kind of perspective. There's another perspective which has two vanishing points. And so what's a vanishing point? If you look at my square here, you can imagine that there's a this these lines that allow guiding uh, to guide the lines that I would use for my for my cube here. This is called a vanishing point, this one right here. And this is usually a, along the horizon line. Is that where everything goes to? And so there is a, a, a way that you can use three or two vanishing points. And the other vanishing point I could have used is to make the tapered uh, section of my cube to go to another point at the bottom and so we can do that on this side of the paper so what we're going to do is we're going to do that square again so I'll do another one but like a bit of a taper this way and so the vanishing point would be out here for example so every line that you'd have to draw would come from that vanishing point for example so if you want to draw a window or a hole in that square you could do it like this right this line goes out there too and then we can have another vanishing point to angle this this uh, cube downwards like this, right? And then the other vanishing point would be out here, all the way down the table section. And so now, these lines need to follow everything that you would draw from a corner goes to that vanishing point. But that being said, I can now just color this part in here. Now, I, could, I don't know if you can hear the dogs and all that on the video, but there's, my neighbor has something like seven dogs and they're barking all the time. It's great fun. It's a friendly family moment. And, and cats too. You might hear the cat. I don't know. Windows are shut, but you can still hear everything. All right, so color that in. There you go. And then, of course, don't forget to color the hole in here. It needs to be the same shade as that because it's the same face, right? Uh, same uh, facing us anyway. All right, so that's there we go, and then we can erase the elements we don't need, and that. And there you have it. That's how you draw a cube. I hope you enjoyed this video today. Thank you for your patience and waiting for me to make a new one. I'm happy that uh, you're still around waiting for my videos. I appreciate it. Thank you for your patience. This one is for you. Have a great day and have a happy holiday. We'll see you soon. Catch you next time on another episode of Drawing with Paolo. <music>